Good afternoon, friends. I'm Elizabeth Fielman, and welcome back to Unearthing Shadows Light. I just got done sitting with Spirit and my guides and some cards, and I'm asking what messages that I can relate to the collective to best serve. And it kept pulling me back to like rest and recuperation, and it kept um, blinking worthiness worthiness. So yes, we are in um, a really awesome time of manifestation right now. Uh, we're in Leo season, Leo season's go time. We're just coming off the energy of the last super moon of the year that was in Aquarius. Um, lots of fluidy movements there, um, emotions, uh, and also super moons, that energy can carry through for about six months. So if you think back to six months ago where you were at um, when the super moon came in this time, it's um, taking what we've cultivated and bringing it to the forefront. So now it's time to move it forward. But we don't, again, as going to yesterday's video, still it rings true. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. Um, don't force it. We're not here to force it. Um, I find it very, very awesome because I was getting the recuperation and um, I'll be working with the Labyrinth deck by Jim Henson and um, I just adore this deck and if anyone's seen the movie, like this is Toby's pajamas, like it's just, these cards are great. Um, but at the bottom of the deck for the main basis of the reading is um the four of feathers which is actually the four of swords and that is rest and recuperation um sometimes go 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 doesn't have to be physically go 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 um sometimes in order to get where you're going you have to sit with yourself and with the situations in order for them to play itself out. So that's bottom of the deck. The first card that um, was picked is the star. And it's Lancelot, it's Toby's, or Sarah's teddy bear Lancelot that she gave to Toby. But um, it's about trusting and renewal and, and hope. Um, it invites you to remember that you've encountered so many things in your life that are probably worse things that you've been through from before and you got through those other things just fine. Uh, you're being asked to reconnect with your, your guides and spirit and the universe, just taking a moment and just being in the now and reconnecting. Um, childlike innocence. I, I, I'm just skimming through of what these cards stand for. All tarot cards have the same story. It starts with the fool jumping off the cliff um, and it loops all back around. So all those major arcana cards and the minor arcana cards and then all the suits, they all tell a story. So the star is looking towards the future, but looking towards the future with childlike wonder, um, getting excited about things that are coming. And, and, and when you get excited about things that are coming, you're, you're not in that, that energy of, of lack or wanting, you're in the energy of gratitude because you're excited knowing that things are unfolding in a certain manner. Um, so that's the first card. Uh, the second card that was pulled was the Page of Feathers in reverse. And I do read reversals in this deck. So the upright position would like stand for, it was reversed, so it's this way. But the upright would stand for like, curiosity and eager to learn and to just follow the path of the student when the when the 
and you know, when the student is ready, the teacher appears. Um, but reversed, it's kind of like an overinflated ego. It's a know-it-all sense. It, a, a not listening to um, the guidance that have co that's come from before. So it's watching how you interact not only with yourself but with others. Um, I will take a line from uh, Kansas, uh, carry on my wayward son. It's uh, if I claim to be a wise man, it surely means I do not know. So please remember that we know nothing and we know everything at once. I know it's a conundrum, but it's true. Everything you, that you know or could want or need resides within you. It's there, the answers are there. Can you quiet yourself down enough to listen to the answers? Um, can you do it humbly? And when you find an answer that is your truth, can you go about spreading the word not in an egoic sense, not pushing it or shoving it down people's throats, but rather being humbled by it. So um, yes, you're on an, embarking on a new, but you're being asked to rein in the ego aspect of it, pull it in from um, the know-it-all sense. We don't know it all. You have to go into it eager to learn um, and still continue to learn. Um, let's see, the third card that I got was strength, but it was in the reverse. So strength represents like powerful um, and commanding presence. Um, and this giant here in the movie, he um, protects the goblin city. He comes out of the wall and comes and protects the city. But the funny thing is, is his head, his head pops off and it's actually this tiny goblin inside controlling this big gigantic monster thing. Um, so reverse though, it's asking you, have you lost your confidence along the way? Um, are you feeling insecure? Are you feeling powerless? Um, remembering that you don't need a big gigantic like mechanical suit to hone your strength. You can pull your strength from within. So I guess this is not having, be almost being afraid to step into your power and your strength. So embarking on, you know, with the star, embarking on a new journey, um, seeing the light in the distance, going for it, but is what's going on, and this could be you, this could be persons, places, or things in your life, um, are, you know, is there someone in your life that needs to grow the fuck up? Um, is there someone in your life that misconstrues your own strength? Are you misconstruing your own strength? You know, remember that you don't, you don't need the big hefty armor to be strong. Your strong, your strength can come from within. It comes from your heart, it comes from your voice. It comes from your mind. It comes from your boundaries. Um, so, uh, Focusing, like reminding yourself to focus on where your strength lies without boundaries. And, and I'm sorry if I'm contradicting myself. When I speak of boundaries, I, I go back to no is a complete sentence, right? Like... You set your boundary. No one can step into your boundary. But where is your boundary for yourself? Can you pull from your core strength inside and from your, um, your solar plexus? Can you pull from your solar plexus and understand that your strength 
is always residing within you. Like sometimes you kind of just need to give yourself a little pep talk and remind yourself that you're worthy of it. You're worthy of it all. Um, so third card, let's see, fourth card was the three of poles. So that would be the three of wands in the tarot deck. So it's kind of a, in, in the, in the original tarot, it just, it, where the wands are stating their perpendicular and wands are fast, things coming in very, very fast. And sometimes you can't do it all by yourself. Sometimes you need help and you need to ask for help. I know for me, being the control freak that I am, sometimes asking for help is very hard. Um, but it, sometimes it's needed. And teamwork makes the dream work, like self collaborations um, or collaborations with others. Um, that can tie into the strength as well, but in um, upright for the strength, it would be pulling in the collaborations. What are you doing in, for life? How are you walking your road? Sometimes you can't get through it all alone. You have to set your burdens down somewhere or share the burden in order for to get things done. And then the fifth card that I have is, I put everything in the book so I could kind of see which way they were talking about things. Um, but the, the fifth card that I have is judgment. And I don't know if any of you have seen the movie, these two dudes, um, they ask Sarah which way she wants to go. One path leads to the castle at the center of the labyrinth and the other path leads to boom, 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 certain death. And it indicates that you are going to be, like going to be or you're put in front of a decision and it warns about making impulsive decisions. This judgment call is a big one. So with the bottom of the deck, of the rest and recuperation can you take time and humble yourself or others well enough to make a judgment call without allowing your ego to get in the way just pure facts being made um to make the judgment the sixth card that i have is the king of pots and it's in the reversed and this uh represents the cups in so it's the king of cups this represents the cups in the uh regular tarot um it was reversed so that being said emotionally turbulent and unpredictable uh because in the ups right he is kind and considerate, um, emotional, and um, we'll put it all out there, but reversed, he's unpredictable, unwavering on what he's giving, and judgmental. Uh, and it's in in interesting because it comes right next to judgment. Um, and master manipulation so who are you dealing with or are you manipulating yourself it's always good to ask the questions of the self yes these people are manipulating me they're narcissistic they're assholes they're this or that or am i a manipulator have i been an asshole um it's just a self checklist you know if we can't be honest with ourselves who can we be honest with if you're lying to yourself that's a whole different story and um that leads with it's a whole other case of things um but the last card that had popped out was 
the nine of sword, well, nine of feathers, nine of swords, and it was reversed when I pulled it out. So that being said, like it amplifies what it is in the upright. So uh, the nine of feathers are like fear, fear, um, worry. So this is just amplified. What are we worried about? What are we having trouble um, or distracting ourselves from? Are we getting in our own way? Are we blocking our own worth and our own worthiness? And I'm going to get some clarifying cards. I'm just going to pick three of the animal messages cards by um, Chip Richards. I, I got these cards yesterday. All of these cards are beautiful. I'm in love. Um, but let's see. I would like some three oracle cards for the collective to just unfold this reading a little bit more all right perfect okay oh we got four all right so water feeling awakening and expression of life interesting because we were just talking about the king of cups in reverse right so um, your water is, it's your emotions, it's your intuition, it's your, um, your knowing, um, the way that you express yourself and express yourself to others. The second card of the animal oracle deck is the tree frog, which is soul song, meditation, creation, and rebirth. So moving past the fear as it said in in the tarot cards like you got the star in the upright in the very very beginning so that being said like there's a good beautiful future coming but we need to make it past you know being a know-it-all and having a pity party in your strength asking for help when needed to make a correct judgment call and be very, very wary of the manipulation. Somebody, and this is this is very specific, but somebody is dealing with a very manipulative person. Um, I'm getting more on the hit of it being in a relationship itself, um, a, a romantic relationship. It could be friendships, but this is more romantic. This is having your heartstrings tugged on. This is being told one thing and shown another by actions um just for the greater good of that other person so be very very wary of of that um the third card for the animal oracle is the red squirrel and that's resourcefulness um vigilance for preparation and busyness so you can stay busy by still resting your bones and resting your mind and your spirit. Now is again, it's go time, yes, but it's not the kind of go time that you're, you would think where you're gonna go run a marathon. No, 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 like this is cultivating in the brain. This is cultivating in the mind. Um, and polar bear is the last card for the oracle, excuse me, for the oracle cards. And it's solitude, friendship, strength, and resilience. So pulling, you know, asking for help with the three of wands, asking for help. Pulling from, um, it's okay to sit in solitude, but also remember to please, you know, broaden your horizons if others can aid in helping you to get for, to point A to point B. Um, also I got the hit to share a exercise. Um, you have a divine feminine and a masculine side within you. Your divine masculine, I believe is your right side and your divine feminine is your left. And if you feel not grounded or you're having an issue concentrating, um, or you're getting headaches, chances are your divine masculine and feminine are not 
balanced. So what I like to do is I close my eyes and I visualize a ping pong ball and I draw a figure eight with my nose. And I watch the ping pong ball, doot, 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 and it balances your masculine and feminine 